Hello and welcome back to Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. Apologies for this video being so delayed from the previous, but uh, the flu, Christmas and New Year's got in the way and uh, entering the new year here I'm switching up jobs, uh, so a bit pressed for time, but uh, we are going to uh, dig in and complete this. Uh, we got this door in front of us. Last episode, we landed on the space station here at... It was like Eurek 5 or something. And uh, slaughtered a whole bunch of guards who were going crazy. Uh, we went to a stupid computer over there, and we can finally open this door. Uh, let's bulk selective run and... Unpause the game. Go. The heavy door is secured. Look, we oh, where have they run off to? Where are you going? Uh, everyone's legged over here. What are you doing, fools? Uh, okay, so the door is still, I thought we were uh, all set to uh, finish off this area. But we are not, I don't know why everyone ran over there. Everyone's moving super fast. Uh, let's go back to this computer. Which was somewhere. Trembles beneath my feet. Was it this one here? I, I hate how we've got to push a button to bring up the interact with everything. That's so frustrating. Right. Ah, uh, you turn on the vid screen. Yeah, yeah, we've done this. Uh, main elevator controls. The elevator has been activated. Okay. Um, main chamber controls. Open all doors. You push a few buttons. Um, according to the data, the command you're trying to open is depressurized. Okay. Look at this. It, it really looks like it wants you to, uh, throw this in a binary to a text translator. I used to be able to do this in my head, but uh, that was 20 years ago when I was uh, doing some programming. I can't imagine trying to type this into a, uh, a separate window to translate it all. Uh, the door has already been opened, okay? The door has already been opened. I just, I just don't know what it wants. Let's go see if that door is open. <laughs> it's, it's so frustrating. All I want to do is play a fun Warhammer game. The point of Warhammer is not tabbing out to another window to type in binary text. It's still locked. I just, I don't know what it wants. Let's leave Let's this place. I've had enough. The opportunity. I want to go out there and cleanse the universe of Xenos. I want huge gun battles with uh, some orcs or tyranids. Just have some fun. Slaughter some enemies. Seen? uncover my path but instead we're mucking about doing garbage is there anything else we're supposed to do because I don't know what they want me to do to open this door oh we're gonna have an athletic jump again to naval service that was barely a challenge on <laughs> I also hate that we've got to uh, hold down a button to see anything it look that one there stays there. Why don't they have the open door button, like, highlighted all the time? A control rod is required. Embrace true it's, power. it's so frustrating. This is not what I want from my Warhammer franchise. Where do we get the control rod from? Nothing's impossible for this old officer. 
The world trembles beneath my feet. I just... I... I genuinely don't know what they want us to do. There's another label there of goods somewhere. Looks like a book. Keeper's control rod. We've got this control rod. What am I supposed to do with it? A control rod. Surely that's what they want for this elevator, isn't it? Do we have to equip it on someone? Uh, can you like, put this on? This is beneath me. I won't waste my time on that. I, th I don't know what it I wants. I the very idea. This is beneath me. You wear a control rod? I don't know what I'd slot it would go in. <laughs> this game, just be good. Tell the people what they want. No can do. This is unacceptable. I will not. <laughs> the okay. world will bow. I, I don't know what it wants. We've got the control rod. A soldier would have been disciplined for such a Ruinous performance. Ruinous favor prevails. But we've we've got it. Is there anything else we can insert it in? Let's seize the opportunity. I, I just, I just don't know what it wants. Well, there's some more goods over here. A key, some things. How do I use it? Drop. Intriguing. Right, will you register that we've got it No. I don't know what it wants. Jump over. Lesson learned. Jump over it. <laughs> it's so unresponsive. And all it's doing is jumping us from here to here. Just have a spot we can walk through. We've done the skill check once. We passed it. We don't need to do it every time, surely. Is this door open now? Nope. Powers unseen uncover my path. <laughs> I just don't know what the game wants me to do. Right. Well, I guess it's time to resort to tedium. I'm going to bring up a. Uh, the world trembles beneath my feet. A binary to text window. Open all doors on the level. All right. It's it's so frustrating because I'm going to have to type this into another window and hopefully I get it correct. If I had Acrobat or something, I could uh, like screenshot and then OCR the text, but I don't have uh, Acrobat Pro installed here. 
Uh, so I'm going to have to type it out, which is just so frustrating. Why would you put this within your game? Right, zero one zero zero one one zero one zero one one zero 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 zero. Yeah, one two three four. You can't even highlight this text or anything to like sort of cross off what you've done. Uh, one zero one one zero one 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 zero zero one 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 zero one zero one zero one one zero. Four, one zero. Oh, my eyes are going funny looking at it. One one zero. One one zero 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 zero. One. One two three four five six. Oh no, I lost it now. I lost it. <laughs> it's so frustrating. It's. <laughs> I have to start again now. I totally lost where I was up to. It's. It's so bad. I don't even have anyone here to read it out for me while I'm trying to type it in another window. Why would you put this in a in a game? Zero one zero zero one one zero one zero one one zero 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 one zero. And then I've made a typo somewhere. <laughs> this is so frustrating to try and do. Zero one zero zero one one zero one, and this is assuming that it all uh, matches. I, I I'm trying to look through for something that's either the same string as that or the opposite, but none of these strings match. It's just, why would you do this in your game? Genuine question. Why? It would be fine if you had like, you know, you could bring up your inbuilt ARM computer and you could just copy over the text string and translate it and that, have some inbuilt game mechanic to say what you want is option five. The door's open. But I mean, why, why would you do this in a game? Even the ability to copy and paste this, hugely beneficial. I just, I don't, I don't understand it. The passage has been opened. Have we, have we done something now? I mean, just, this is everything that's wrong in games. Right, we got a slightly different message there. Will that... Embrace true power. Do something? The world will bow. Ah, it's still locked. I, I, I genuinely don't know what it wants. This is without a doubt the single most frustrating game I've ever played. The premonition runs true. Uh, let's try this again. Have we done something here? A control rod is required. There's the control rod. What do you want me to do with it? I won't waste my time on that. We can't seem to I equip it. The very idea. Double clicking it does nothing. Inspecting it doesn't seem to do anything. Like what what do you want, game? 
I don't even know what would what it would do. It looks like that's a door or something, but it doesn't go anywhere unless we can sneak up this lady's skirt. Maybe I don't know. Take a quick peek. Let's seize the opportunity. <laughs> the whispers told me how. <laughs> that's so frustrating. What do you want me to do? Intriguing. Here's some more goods. You gotta, you gotta press the button just at the right moment, or you don't seem to be able to highlight it. It's powers unseen uncover my path. It's unbelievable that people would make a game like this this day and age. I tell you what. Main elevator controls. The elevator's active. I I don't know what it wants. Open all doors. <laughs> Requires this. But what does this mean? I tried to type it into a binary to text translator. Either I made a typo or this isn't actually a correct code. I mean, I'm assuming we're going binary to text, but are we going to like binary to hex? We could be going to hex or octal or anything. I just, it's, it's so frustrating. There doesn't seem to be any way in game to translate this. I don't know, let's try five. The door's open. Six, whoa. Okay, option six has done something. But if your game relies on people just randomly choosing text option six, I think you've failed. Passage has been opened. We got that for number four. It also says the passage has been opened. <laughs> I, who thinks this is the way to make a game? Genuine question. So frustrating to try and play this game. Okay, so that's open there. Can we also do this thing back here? I, I, I don't suppose we can. We don't have a control rod. The only control rod we've got is the one we've got in our inventory. Is there another control rod in here? Perfection. Right, there's another door. Okay, this one doesn't have any sort of text open. Always a bloke cowering in terror. <laughs> Look at it. He's got a uh, a cape on. It seems to highlight way up behind him. His cape doesn't have physics for his highlight box. Um, what do you want? They all just lost their minds. Please don't kill me. Um, can we kill him? No. All right. What are we doing? Poking things? Tissue flask. All right, let's put in our tissue sample. Okay. So this is all the garbage we picked up in the other room. I'm missing some. Oh, I'm missing two things. We need a reagent flask and a catalyst flask. Okay, we've got one of them. Um, hang on, remake the control rod. What are you on about? Restart the elevator. I don't know what's going on. 
Okay, can we do this thing over here now that we've remade the control rod? This is... Ah, oh, this is just the worst. That wasn't so difficult. The world will bow. Right, we're away. Look at it. Stuff's happening. If you had to fix the control rod, why wasn't the thing you picked up called broken control rod, damaged control rod? I don't know. This is just the most frustrating game. What a weird loops bit of uh, audio that was. Oh, they're still doing it. Just, just a, a very short, like, second and a half of audio there looped. Ooh-ah, ooh-ah. Ooh-ah, ooh-ah. Right, Cassia. The... <laughs> they're, they're still doing it. I'm trying to read the text, guys. Are you seriously going to make that noise while I try and read this text? This is so hard to play. The pale figure with a naturally long limb stands with her arms raised. Does she? Is that her there? Deformed with talon-like nails, her deathly pale face is coated with blood that continually streams from her scarlet-misted eyes. Her spiny gills slightly hidden under her disheveled hair twitch nervously. Some sort of fish girl. Only now do you notice the third eye on the young woman's forehead. Will you guys please be quiet? Hidden by a jeweled ornament. And when your eyes meet, you sense overwhelming, soul-smothering power. You are enveloped in despairing grief. I'll make, I'll make the official sound of grief. An invisible hand closes around your throat, cutting off your breath. Your limbs seem to fill with lead. Your heart hammers in your chest and the desire to turn and flee from this room, from this station, almost gets the better of you. At the last moment, you master your emotions. We don't even get a dice roll or anything. Oh, we got a willpower test succeeded. If we'd failed, would we just have left and made the whole thing pointless? Ugh, this awful thing. Ow, ow, ow! As if my little pals weren't bad enough. Now this one's barging into my head. Somebody stop her. Heresy. Right. Um. Lady Cassida, I'm here to help. No. Uh, let's threaten her by the Emperor. If you do not stop the sorcery, I will shoot you in the head. That's all it took. Oh, they're still going on with this infernal noise. I tell you what, I'm going to lose it soon. She wearily shakes her head. What is happening? Was someone calling my name? Are all the betrayers dead? Who are you? It matters little, you profane creature. You'll die regardless. On the station, slanderers are fed their own tongues and then discharged out of the airlock. What's this? I feel faint. Oh, thank God everyone is quiet. Uh, a heavy set old man who has been kneeling nearby erupts into low sobs. The child, Lady Cassia. Where are you, sacred child? Throne preserve. You! Right, do we fight them now? 
My eyes fail me, for now they are unable to make you out as either enemy or ally. I'm warning you one wrong move will bring the wrath of House or Salio down upon your head. Watch out, Lord Captain. This one's so deranged it's making the whispers shriek like crazy. He just might open up that eye of his. <laughs> oh my gosh. This Abelard. Threatening the head of a dynasty is a grave offence. Uh, I'll try to amuse myself doing... Why isn't this voice acted? Right, I've already dispatched Felic. Do you want to follow him? Ah, you forced your way into a closed station and slew one of its keepers. Balak may have been a traitor, but he was also a navigator of House or Salio, and now you are attempting to threaten me as well? While your name and intentions remain unknown, I will continue to view you as a threat. Abelard, introduce us. Her ladyship, rogue trader, Betsy Von Valencia's heir. <laughs> I wish I could do voices. That's the one superpower that I would want. Ah, uh, the, the ability to do 30 or 40 good voices. Bearer of the warrant of trade. Hello. Another rogue trader at our corner of the galaxy. How interesting. Oh, here we go. This... This is not what I want from my Warhammer games. What brings such an important person to the station? I seek a navigator to join my crew. And you have come here for nothing. Yurik 5 is an observation station. We do not make contracts. We do not supply navigators. Uh, Alright, well let's go then. Where have I heard that before? That's it, Master Fennec was babbling something similar. Or did I imagine that? Oh, you probably imagined it, you lunatic. I will be taking Lady Cassia now. Come with us or perish. Rash words. Right. Fight time. Finally. Right. Exciting combat. That is what I want from my Warhammer game. Uh, Adira. Okay, so there's a couple of guys on our flank. Three guys on our flank. Who are we going to have to deal with them? I think Argenta's going to come back here. Uh, unless a Betsy back here as well. Uh, the brain freak just sort of stand in the middle of the field where's old Abelard get up front get ready to tank these guys start the battle okay so Adira up first let's go with uh, we have Target, one enemy within 10 cells. And gain plus two exploits. Uh, removes all exploits from the target to decrease the target's dodge, parry, and armor by... Minus 10 plus exploit stacks times five. Okay, so let's analyze. Let's analyze the abode. Oh, there's, there's a villain right in front of us here. I hadn't seen this guy. Uh, and then let's use our psychic shriek on this fella. Was that you? Nice. Uh, let's go for warning on Abelard. I think as he's tanking the boss fella up there. Uh, good turn. End turn. Where's my end turn button? Space. There we go. Right, Betsy. Okay, grants momentum equal to eight. Also grants an additional four momentum for each enemy 
that is within a radius. I don't have any others in radius. I think we're just going to fire. Ruin beckons. Good. Uh, and then we could actually run gun. Cause that gives us another shot, doesn't it? Uh, we could move to here, take cover from that guy. Get there, Betsy. <laughs> what a run! Oh, Betsy! Okay, ah, oh, Jinta. Rending shotgun. All creatures within an area of a five cell radius. Is that gonna hit him? Can't really tell what's what it's showing. Okay, so that is our cone there. Okay. Well, let's focus on this fella. As the Emperor commands, I act. None can escape nice. Nice. Well done, Argenta. Doubt is for the weak. Uh, let's go run and gun with you as well. Let's leap there. God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. Do you not get another shot with that? Oh, I thought you did. That was a furious recital. Good, and then I'll raise up our momentum a little. Yeah, I thought we were going to get another shotgun shot and hopefully take that guy down and then we'd have cover from him from there, but... Uh, not to be, that's alright. Uh, Abelard, you weird freak. I've totally forgotten how to play this game. Uh, move in a straight line, launch a melee attack against any target. That's not the Seneschal's job. I'm not interested. Target is too close, okay. We can get up there and cleave the two of them, can't we? It will be done. No, 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 because you didn't move and then do it. <laughs> it's so frustrating. Right, get there. Have you got a movement ability now? No, because you've done that. Indeed. Brace for impact. Totally forgotten how to play this accursed game. I thought it was just extra shoddy because uh, I was sick and angry. It will be done. It's not, I just think it is really subpar. Uh, right, let's go with uh, another analysis on that guy. Then let's remove his stacks with that. Good, let's go with a crazed scream. Nicely done. Oh, she's having a shocking time there. Right, Betsy, dodging out of the way. Well done, Betsy. Uh, let's push up over this side here. Ah, oh, Betsy! Curses, girl. I will triumph. You shall war him. Hooray. Okay, so we we can now do a rampage firearm mastery. Which I think we'll do with Argenta. Uh, is this how we do it? Power resides in the will of the righteous. Right. Let's move there. I will this battlefield in righteous fury <laughs> nice and again as the emperor commands well done Argenta and that's all we can do this turn isn't it can't seem to move anywhere can't click any of these ah uh, you've still got tons of rounds in your gun right Betsy under fire Abelard, now how do I do this cleave? 
How do I go forward and do it? Can't remember. Walk to here. I know we could do it as one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sound approach. I thought you were going to cleave them both. I can't tell from their weapon previews what's hitting. They both lit up yellow there like he was going to hit them both, but just didn't. Victory is imminent. Right. Oh, come on, Adira. Just dodge out the way, love. Oh, don't heal them. Right, you should probably use the dodge on yourself, Adira. Use your shriek to put down this fella. Oh, you've left him alive again. Just kill him. On it. Ah, <laughs> she died. <laughs> right, More your character has lost consciousness. Suffering. Okay. Okay, they get a trauma. That's fine. Ah, uh, Betsy. Come forward, and then we're going to fire at this idiot. Oh, this, this so, you're supposed to be able to shoot your gun, love. It's your one ability. Right. Oh, Jim, I've totally lost track of this guy. He's back there. Uh, we can get nowhere close. Come to here. Did activate running gun. Then we can get there. No. Yeah, get there and then shoot him. Well done, at least she's doing something. Right, Abelard. So use your cleave ability. That, that's surely going to hit both of them, isn't it? It will be done. Yeah, it's got them both this time. Well done. Be too far away. At your back and call. Whack. Oh no, he's missed as well. The incompetence. Die. I should have left Argenta up front to deal with these guys. I thought she was just going to help clean up the couple at the back with a couple of shots. Ara Betsy then just charged forward, but uh, really hasn't worked out that way. Ah, uh, Betsy's in horrendous trouble. I need no gun. Death shall reign. Nice. Well done, Betsy. Took out the medic, finally. I'll do it. Right. Well done, Argenta. And then we've got this what? Revel in Slaughter. Immediately removes the winded effect. As the sure. Emperor commands, I act. And I think we are done. Right, Mr. Abelard. Strike. Good man, then charge. At your back and call. Very good. I've suffered worse. Right, Betsy. Think. One step closer. <laughs> she just will not shoot anything. Come on, Betsy, you fool. Uh, I don't think we can step diagonally across there, so let's we come to that tile. That's <sighs> running gun. I think he's out of range, isn't he? 
Faith without deeds is worthless. All right, uh, strike. Good man. I will do my duty. Then let's turn on your endure. All right, Betsy, up you come. I will triumph. Okay, good. Argenta, come forward. Then we're just going to shotgun straight into him. Doubt is for the weak. Nicely done, Argenta. Okay, good damage from Abelard. Purpose guides me. Good. And finish him off, Argenta. Bizarre. Eobald, no! Don't leave me alone in this violet brown haze. Wake up! Your mistress is giving you an order. Do you hear me? Why has she got a voice now? Why don't you have a voice what for your other lines? You done? Oh, be quiet, woman. Enough tears, you're coming with me. And if I refuse? What? Um, what are you going to do to me? Uh, become my navigator, and I shall restore you to House Orselio at the earliest opportunity. I beg your pardon, but what about my servants? Your Act 5 is still full of people loyal to House Orselio. Uh, all who can be saved will be given succor aboard my mm. ship. Hmm. Accompanying a rogue trader on their travels is an honor for any navigator. Let us go. <laughs> She's not care that we murdered all these people at all. Shadows that drape the bodies of the fallen. Right, let's go. Hooray, we found a navigator. Let's look at this picture. Okay, hang on. Oh, it's as if the painting was rendered by several different hands. The timid, uncertain lines are interlaced with rough and furious strokes coming together in arcane shapes, I think it said. While no one appears to be living in the cage, somebody still filled the trough and dried something something. Totally unsure why they would... Uh, Um, have the uh, little pop-up descriptions and stuff vanish before you actually get to read them. Let's try hitting the... Oh, the loot people button. By that, I mean the other button they have to hit to do everything. Right, let's collect all the stuff. Uh, right, more people here. Apparently the pistol is useless because it goes to the cargo, so I think that means we've got better stuff, but we're taking all this stuff. Okay. Let's seize the opportunity. Why do we have to get them all one by one? Can't you just assume we're gonna pick them all up and then all the stuff that's in the room as well? This luxurious feast was left untouched. Oh, there's some books over here. The navigator's private library is brimming with blah, 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 blah. Why would you have your descriptive text that takes longer to read? Just flick up and vanish. Stay there until I, like, choose to close it. It doesn't need to have, like, an X button to close, just to click anywhere on the screen to close it. I don't know. Anyway, well, we're going to level up this girl. Come here, you monstrous pale freak. Uh, click to view archetype details. Officer. Okay, click. We didn't get to view the details. 
I don't know. Everything about this seems so badly laid out. Right, what skills do you want? Fellowship or will? I don't think we want anyone with good fellowship, do we? Can we click on the other people here? Um, 25, 35, 30, 30, 40. All right, you are going to be in charge of fellowship. Um, what, what, sort, what sort of character are you? What do you do? Let's go with combat master. Enemies gain no melee superiority bonus. Sure. Uh, all right. Um, do we have to walk back to the ship? Let's go to the ship. Uh, do I have to look over the equipment for everyone? Um. Oop, no, we're gone to the ship. It's too late. I was going to try and, uh, Sort out some gear. All right, well, that was so exciting. Um, oh, here's our Vox Master. Lord Captain, Lady Navigator, welcome aboard. The Sanctum Navis has been prepared for the communion ritual. But if the Lady Navigator wishes to rest in her quarters first, your heart starts beating furiously. Your breaths come short and choppy. And fingertips tingle unpleasantly. You notice that Vigdus is shivering slightly. Who's Vigdus? Was that that guy? I don't know. Oh, Cassia, without even looking at uh, Voxmaster, Cassia waves her, her away. Was she a lady? I thought it was a bloke. Uh, first, I wish to speak to the rogue trader. All right, love, calm down. It's a lady. I thought it was a bloke. Right, off you go. What? Why have these scenes where this person comes along and just go away? What do you want to talk about? She exhales and raises her pointy chin. Why don't you have a voice again? This game is just... Why would you have... Why would you pay voice actors to come on and do, like, it seems to be about a tenth of the line so far? I just don't understand it. No, thanks for saving me. And thank you for killing everyone else. I'm also deeply grateful that you saved my servants, did we? Especially your valet, Uwe. Right, okay. He knows how to properly attend to me <laughs> during journeys through the Immaterium. An alternate, whoop, 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 whoop. Dimension of pure energy, okay. Synonym for warp, very good. But now, she throws back her shoulders, I'm ready to go and perform the sacred rite. I require brushes, canvas, and the best paints you have on board, but no red. Uh, what are you doing with your crazy ritual? I doubt the uninitiated could understand the mysteries of navigation, but I shall try to explain the essence of it. I must merge my mind with the machine spirit of the ship so that I become one with the vessel. After that, I use the house or cellio ritual, which I am loath to reveal to you. Well, don't reveal it then. Let's go. Then it's time to open my third eye and peer into the depths of the warp itself. Among the nightmarish fish. I can't take this serious. Just, just voice the game. 
That's so shoddy. What it is about Warhammer games? For those who don't know what I mean, let's just cut in some of their like trailers. See that there? How awesome that was. Why doesn't the game look like that? Why isn't it voiced like that and have sound like that? I just I don't understand it. It's so good. And that's to sell their little plastic painted toys. They could have one of the best like video game franchises. But they just don't put in any effort. It's oh, so frustrating. Every Warhammer game I play is just so below par. I keep wanting them to be good because it's such an amazing IP. All right. I'm going to uh, finish up the conversation here. I'll call it into the episode. And then we'll, uh, I don't know, continue this. <laughs> I'm having such a hard time getting motivated to play this game. All right. Let's deliver her her supplies. I shall take my leave of you. Very good. It's not someone else coming to talk to us. Alright, the Vox Master is back. I will oversee the channel between the Lady Navigator and the bridge. Okay. The Vox Caster in the Sanctum Nevis picks up the susurration of clothes, pious chanting and the metallic clinking of implants. Initiating the communion ritual. Come here, Uve. I don't know whether his name's like Uv or Uve or something, so you don't get any pronunciation or anything. Just voice your game. It's so much better, it's so much more immersive. I see violet vortexes lashing an ocean with a million flails, and umber shadows spinning over the surface in a fiery dance. A storm rising above foaming waters, armadas drowning in a fog. A path from one end to another cannot be seen. And here, beyond the wall of glass, a daughter forsaken by her father yearns for her brother. Oh, she's into the freaky stuff. And the sun's pale disc goes in tireless pursuit of her. No, of me its frozen rays lie that spring is here. A light is deadened. The great ruler is gone. Oh, right. Oh, this guy's chimed in. That's, that's so boring. My apologies. Uh, what did you interrupt us to say that the connection's been restored and won't happen again? Right. Let's leave her undisturbed. 
soul shredding screams drown out the transmission. Okay, come on. It appears the servants were part of Lady Navigator's right, as it was for her predecessor. I will arrange for the bodies to be removed. Right, so she's having a fun blood ritual. It's good. Rogue trader, I fear I have unfortunate news. Endless blackness has spread across the canvas, dividing what should be whole in two, and my sight cannot glimpse the end. Oh, right, the way is blocked. By the Emperor's grace, the ritual was successful. Your vessel's temperament presented a challenge. Its cold steel grip did not allow me to breathe freely, even for a second. It was as if the depths of the ship housed not only machine spirits, but something other. That's the crazed demons that have infected us. Right, you're off to your chamber. Very good. Yeah, right. What are you wanting to do? You want to report on the station. Okay. Had you opted to begin your visit to the RICAD system, the station could have become critically unstable. Fortunately, the decision to visit the representatives brought us precious time. Well, you are welcome. We made the right choice. Oh. Let's loot everything. Gain to profit. Very good. Uh, we are still looking for an engine seer. That's fine. Thank you. That'll be it for now. Off you go. Saving game is impossible. I really want to save the game and just end this episode. Uh, do we have to go somewhere to do it? Scan is required. The prison planet, or we can go to the planet of Rykad Minoris. Quest is visit the prison. Let's do that. Oh, there's some commotion on the officer's deck. The navigator has left her quarters and is currently in the wardroom. Okay. Lord Captain, my apologies. I, I did not notice your entrance. I didn't notice your voice. Okay. Um, it pleases me to see you adjusting to life aboard the ship. Compared to Urak 5, your ship is a boundless world of unfamiliar hues. And yet, the abundance of bright colors can at times be wearisome on the eyes. The bridge and the decks are so clamorous. In my search for a place of quiet, I was fortunate to come upon this islet of serenity filled with rare tomes and practically devoid of color. Uh, I hope you have had ample time to calm yourself and your powers. There are people on this ship who are far more impulsive and dangerous to others, and far less devoted to the God Emperor than a herald of the Navis Nobility. But I did not need your words to see the shades of umber unease that whirl around your subjects whenever I am near. Were I not acquainted with such a reaction, I could have found their behavior in your question just now insulting. Oh, just chill out everyone. Stop being so bitchy. Your only attendant is your valet. Do my servants not measure up? No, no. It is not that at all, Lord Captain. It is just that Uve is quite capable of carrying out his duties by himself. He is well accustomed to my... my whims and preferences. Right. He's got the whips and chains ready. Cassia cringes ever so slightly, adjusts the adornment on her forehead, then awkwardly hides her clawed fingers. Freak. Are you well? 
One should not underestimate the navigators of House Orcelio, Lord Captain. Like a shawl of pale smoke, a faint malaise hangs upon my shoulders. But it will not be the slightest hindrance to my duty to humanity, and my duty to you. Right. Are you fond of reading, or do you just carry a book around in your hands to look educated? Oh, this. <laughs> I found this fascinating read on one of the shelves. And I must say, it has caught my eye. Its every chapter is written in verse. I find it so beautiful and enrapturing. Urak V had a vast archive of its own, of course. Although most of the works within had to do with scholarly disciplines of some sort or another. Only in my sparse moments of respite was I allowed to escape into the pages of more embellished works. Lord Captain, would you kindly explain to me why you are pestering me with these questions? Inquiring about my mood and my needs? Showing an interest in the books I am enjoying? You are behaving as if you possessed a shred of fellow feeling for one such as I. Oh, it's, it's not my fault, love. They're making me click through these menus. I'm not doing it by choice. I beg your pardon, Lord Captain. That was no way for a navigator to conduct herself. Ah, oh, that's fine. We're done. Yes, I... I understand. I offer you my apologies once more. Okay. Can I please just save the game now and be done with this? Oh, we leveled up from that. Classic conversation leveling. Alright, well, I'm going to save the game here. Join me next time as I probably complain more about the game. And uh, we'll see what happens next. Until then, I've been Mr. Garuffle. This has been Rogue Trader.